This video will be on how I give my guinea pig a bath. Now there are a couple of um, concepts or ideas or beliefs about how often you should give a guinea pig a bath. So some people say once a month um, because it helps to prevent any skin conditions etc. And other people say as little as possible only when needed. So I used to be uh, one of the people that thought they needed a bath every month. So for the first, I don't know, um, six or seven years of having guinea pigs, uh, I used to give my piggies a bath every month. Um, and at the point where I had 14 guinea pigs, um, that became quite a challenge. I was basically washing guinea pigs most weekends. Um, since then, I uh, changed my views a bit, so now I'm only giving my guinea pigs a bath when they need it. Um, so that's a few times a year, really. Um, I do not wash my skinny pigs. Uh, I've washed, I think, Monka once before, but it does fairly little uh, good to her or to any of the skinny pigs. So. What I do with the skinny pigs, and again, I only do this when they need it, um, I rub them down with a bit of coconut oil, um, which is a suggestion uh, I adopted from Skinny Pig One. So that works really, really well. And again, I only do that when they need it. Uh, I don't think skinny pigs need cream and oils on their skin all the time um, because their skin becomes dependent on it. So I rather just do it when they need it. Um, and at the moment, um, the only piggy, the, the only skinny pig that needs uh, oil on it is actually not the one I'm zooming in just now. Um, the only one that needs it is... Where are you? I can't actually see where she is. But Buffy's the only skinny pig that needs um, her back treated because she doesn't quite wash her backside so you have a build up of that skin on there so a bit of um, coconut oil on a cotton pad and then just swipe over it but you need to be gentle because you don't want to take the skin off too much so today's test subject will be Bonnie um, and I always pick on Bonnie when I want to show somebody how to wash a guinea pig because she uh, doesn't get too stressed by the process. Um, her attitude is, oh god, just get it over and done with. So um, that's the perfect attitude you want when you show somebody how to wash a guinea pig. Um, saying that, out of my herd, Bonnie is probably the only one that's more relaxed about it. Usually guinea pigs don't like getting a bath and um, you pretty much end up with scratches all over your arms because they try to jump out of the water. So that brings me nicely on to the next subject. Uh, what should you be wearing when um, washing guinea pigs? So wear all clothes because you're getting hair and water everywhere. Um, I prefer wearing something with short sleeves or sleeveless because my arms always get drenched. Um, also quite often what I like to do, I like to put my arm underneath the guinea pigs so they can sit on my arm because it makes them feel a bit more secure. So let's get on and I show you the tools um, that you need. And I suggest you set up everything you need in advance of basing your guinea pig because once you start, um, you can't just tell the guinea pigs hold still while I get organized. So prepare everything in advance. So as far as tools go, um, I usually start off by clipping the guinea pig's nails. Um, so I have nail clippers there and these are just regular human nail clippers because I find um, they work best for me. Um, Bonnie only had her claws cut, claws cut uh, last weekend so she doesn't need another trim. Um, I also have uh, two pairs of scissors because I can't remember which is the sharper pair um, and I want to trim her coat at the, her backside because she always get matted and disgusting. So I'm just going to chop all that up and then I have a brush to comb through her hair. So that's what I do before I actually start with um, giving them a bath. I trim their nails and I can't cut any fur that is matted or disgusting. And if you're 
Um, when I had Twinkle, she was quite long haired. Um, I used to give her a trim um, before I started bathing. It makes drying time a lot shorter. Right. Other than that, you also need, let me see if I can zoom out, you also need a few towels. So the towels I have here are just standard towels. Uh, they are old towels that we don't use. They are just designed, uh, designated for the guinea pigs. And the white towel is a microfiber towel um, that just helps speed up the drying process. I also have my drying station, which consists of a laundry basket in which I have put a towel. Again, this is um, or oh, both towels actually that you can see there. They are both for guinea pigs only. They are not human towels anymore. They just use human towels. That sounds odd. Anyway, they are not used for humans anymore. They are only for the guinea pigs. And then I have my hair dryer because I like to give um, the guinea pigs a, a dry with my blow dryer. So I'll show you later on how to do that. And then I don't think you can see that from this angle, but there's a few more brushes in it. Um, oh yeah, and I completely forgot, you also need shampoo. So, a uh, quick word about... Oh, my camera has life of, of itself. So, a quick word on shampoo. Uh, you can get uh, either mild uh, kiddies shampoo, so that's any mild human shampoo uh, will do fine. Or here in the UK, and I believe they ship uh, worldwide, you can get shampoo from Gorgeous Guineas. So let me show you some of these. So I haven't ordered um, in ages from them, so this is all leftovers from when I used to base my guinea pigs a lot more frequently. So here is Bunny, and she is actually quite dirty. I don't know what you've done to yourself, but you're not a good pig at cleaning yourself, eh? You're lovely though. So I'm going to quickly check her nails and see if they need a wee trim. I know, I'm not the best at that. So let me cut a wee bit of this one. Good girl. So let's get you a quick brush. So the brush I he have here is from the body shop. I got it ages ago. Um, I had a couple of them and before I bought any brushes for the guinea pigs um, I just thought it would be good and it's actually still my favourite brush. I've got a couple of other ones but I always go back to this one rather than the ones I bought in the pet shop. Right, so let's see your backside, eh? Your dirty pig. Yeah, see, you need a wee bit of cutting, not too much. So let's try these scissors. So I'll put my hair, hand kind of in between to make sure I don't cut too far. And um, So I've already made sure there's water in the sink. It's not too warm, it's not too cold. Um, if you're worried about the temperature, make it colder rather than warmer, although you don't want the guinea pig to be too cold. Um, also, I have put the heater on in the kitchen and in the piggy room so that Bonnie doesn't get cold. So the one thing I'm always nervous is that she gets stuck in the plug hole. Um, so what I will do, I'll put a old dish cloth uh, just over that to make sure she's absolutely fine. Um, next to the sink I have my shampoos, um, the bottle that I'm using and another one for backup just in case and I will also have a tub that I will use for rinsing. Uh, it just makes it a bit easier. So let's go and put a towel over the plug hole and then I go and get Bonnie. So I'll check the temperature once more and then I put Bonnie in gently. Um, also, make sure the tap is out of the way. If she jumps, you don't want her to hurt herself. And you're coming out. Now you're going back in. So, let's get you in the middle of the sink. I'm here, Bonnie. It's okay, I'm here. So, I'm just getting my wee tap here, and that's just from my bread maker. And if she wants to jump out, it's sometimes easier to just let her jump out. Get her to calm down and then you pop her back in the sink. So don't try and force her to stay down because she just will, or the pig will just end up hurting itself. Come on Bonnie, you're better than this. I know you are. There you go. No, 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 no. Right. So, get 
and you run on to be soaked. Good girl. So what I will do for pics that are a bit more stressed out, I will just pop them like that on my arm. Um, and just hold them like that. It'll just make the whole process a bit nicer for them. And as you can see here, the water is up to about here on her. So this side here. So it's, you know, there's plenty covering her, but not too much of the water. I don't want her to be forced to swim. I want her to be able to sit at the bottom of the sink um, and make it as comfortable as possible. So now that I have her rinsed and she's well and truly wet, I'll just use a wee bit of water to cover her side next to her face and up there and her cheek. Make sure that's all nice and wet. Not get any water in the eyes. There you go, good girl. And then while I then put the shampoo on her while she's in the sink, I'm going to take her out, put on a towel and then get her shampooed up. So up. Good girl. Good. So I'm just going to put some shampoo on her and then start massaging it in. I know you are the bestest of girls. Girls, girl. So so I haven't done her face yet and if I do that during the first shampoo, I will give her a second shampoo. So let me move this camera back. So now that she has her first shampoo, I'll pop her back in the sink and just rinse that off. And just be as gentle and reassuring as you can be. The more nervous you are, the more nervous the piggy will be. So I'm just rinsing this off. Look how nice and white you are suddenly. And now we're going to apply some more shampoo. I'm not sure I need quite as much, but I just really want to have the bottle finished. I have plenty more shampoo. So just gently massage this in. Where are you going? I don't think so, Bonnie. Let's get your foot done. I know, and your other foot. And your front feet. Oh yeah, definitely need underneath. And now I'm just using some of the foam from her back and just gently put it on her cheeks and do not get it in her eyes. You know how sore it is when you get shampoo in the eyes. We don't want that for her. And then put it down her nose as well. Just a wee bit like that will do. Usually their faces are quite clean. Aren't they Bonnie? A wee bit on your double chin. Look how nice here. And here you can now leave it to soak in for a while. Um, just so the shampoo, you know, works its magic. Right. And then we just soak this off. Soak it off without getting it in your eyes, see? And get it off your face. Okay, good girl. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take you out and refresh the water in the sink. Um, it may be an idea to have a, a, a bowl next to the sink with some clean water. Um, I wasn't that organized, so I'm just going to have to let water out. So I don't suggest you do what I did here and... Shh, it's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. So I don't suggest you did what I did here and... Uh, change the water while you have the guinea pigs sitting next to you. I know Bonnie is very calm so I can do that with uh, with most of the other pigs. What I would actually do, I would uh, pop them in a box um, and then replace the water or I would just have a bowl with clean water next to them and put them in the wee sink and get them rinsed off there. Um, we just want to make sure there's no shampoo left on her. Right, you clean? 
Let me do your chin. Let me do your chin. Let me tickle your chin and get the... Come on. You need to sew off the chin. A good girl. Let me get me... Yeah, I know. He knew. Good girl. There we are. Big jump. You're picking a towel. You're picking a blanket. Uh -huh. You're picking a blanket. You Christmas pig. I know. Right? Shall we take you through to the pick room and get you dried? Okay. Let's wrap you up a bit more in the towel and lift you up. So I put Bonnie back in the, what I call drying stick. Be gentle, but do a good job. You want, you don't want to put the piggy back until they're completely dry. Right, I'm now using my uh, hair dryer, and it's just a normal hair dryer. It's a Philips. You do not need to dry her face, so keep the hair dryer well away from her face and make sure her ears don't overheat. Very thin skin, so you do not want to hurt her. So be very careful and make sure you don't get a face down. And that's how you base and dry your guinea pig. So let's put you back in the cage.